Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. And yes, we built our very own pit box here for under $20. And um, we'll tell you guys how we've done that later on in the video. And plus some other ideas as well so you guys can build your own box. And uh, the most important thing is using what you got. So uh, I'm gonna show some pictures here, some other boxes I've seen I thought was pretty neat and what they've kind of done here using what they've got to build on to you know their existing toolboxes or using filing cabinets um, bolting some caster wheels on them and i know some guys are even building wood toolboxes as well but for ours what we done was we used two different rolling carts and i bolted them together and used the caster wheels that was already on them and then put a wood topper on it and then we started using some spray paint to clean this bad boy up so let's check it out here Alrighty guys, we're about to unveil this thing. The ghetto box is coming <laughs> no together. It is no longer ghetto, Miss Hannah says. But uh, anyways, yeah, we kept the inside still red. We didn't want to go to that much trouble, but uh, we kept some of the OG stickers on the inside. Uh, just, uh, you know, it's OG box, and uh, we're gonna keep some of that vintage there going on. But I kind of wanted to clean everything up, and it's gonna be so cool to kind of peel this wrapper off here and kind of see all this together i didn't show you guys all the steps of painting but uh i figured this last one here we'll kind of just unveil this thing real nice here but there's mr hoopty king coming oh, right guys. now that's right already the <laughs> he already branded the box you guys are about to see that he put one of his brand new stickers on there so when we pull this stuff off here you guys are gonna see this thing looking very nice all right guys here we go What's good, man? Dude, that's gonna look nice. Right, so let's see how we've done on a tape line here. Twenty dollar box ain't too bad. For twenty dollars in a box, <laughs> not too bad at all. <laughs> all right, let's see here. Let everybody get Ooh. the close up. See how get it's done. Get the close up. Don't get a screw up or a okay. fantastic job. That's right. Get some of that <laughs> tape in there. There we go. Uh. Let's get some of this paper right here. Oh yeah. Very nice. No doubt. Boom, I like it. Just like that. So a lot of people don't realize these little pieces of chrome or pieces of aluminum, these actually slide on and off on the drawers and it makes it a whole lot easier if you want to paint stuff, especially these toolboxes and all those drawers. It saves you a ton of time on taping things off and just take them off. And so like what they do is on the back of them, there's an end that's got a crimp on it and that's what keeps it tight on there. So just for example, you can see how this works. You just slide them up on there as far as you can. See right there, now it's at that crimp. And then you just pack them right back on there. Just like that, boom. <laughs> boom guys, check this thing out. We got our pieces of aluminum there on our drawers. Um, I guess them drawer covers or whatever you wanna call them. Check that out and of course, our certified Hoopty King Daggum sticker on yeah, there. Yeah, man. Hey, hey, guys. It's only a Facebook deal. I don't see it getting any bigger. But look up Hoopty Kings on Facebook. It's nothing but real street cars, some show cars, and real Hoopties. It's been drug out of the field. So <laughs> come join the group. Ain't no drama. Come on. <laughs> That's right. And uh, Jesse's got a really cool group. Uh, he does all kinds of different posts on that thing. And uh, you can see the GTO on there. You can see my dad's truck on there. And we're all kind of all, <laughs> all the time posting different stuff on there. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we have a good time with it. But Jesse's got an awesome page there and he's always helping us out. 
and we definitely want to help him out too. <laughs> but uh, he is also what you're selling these stickers as well, right? Yeah, five dollars a pop. Yeah, five dollars a pop. I'm making like twenty five whole cents off of it. That's so right. I ain't in it for the money, man. I'm just in it for a good time. Right. This is to support his page on Facebook. So be sure to go and check him out at Hoopty King Facebook group. And he's got these cool stickers on there. So uh, send him a message. And that's Jesse Gardner. Yeah. You check him we out. got we got I do a cover shot every day. Most likes gets the cover shot for a week. Ends midday on a Sunday. Good times. Boom, that's right. <laughs> Having good times. But I tell you guys, man, I think his toolbox turned out really cool. Um, you know, I know this is a little bit offbeat what we normally do, but I've been really, really wanting to do something with this box for a while now because of, yes, you heard it earlier. I only have $20 in this entire setup right here um, of the toolbox wise. Now, the tools, whole different ball game, but $20 in the box, and that is in the wood. Um, this little section of toolbox here, this is like one of those uh, cheap uh, stack on deals from Walmart. And uh, my grandfather gave that one to me. And then this little box over here, these are two different boxes. And again, these have been um, bolted together. Uh, this one here was given to me for Christmas. Now this one up here, this top piece, uh, we were needing something that had some deeper drawers in it, like this right here. So now when you open it up, you can actually get to you, your tools and your sockets and all that stuff. Wait a minute, what are we missing here? And it's 9 16 We got the 10 millimeter in there. Yep, but not 9 16 That's what a real heck? garage. That's what a real garage. Standard tools. Yeah, American <laughs> garage, that's right. But uh, anyways, so now we got everything kind of organized out and looking pretty clean. So uh, this box, it actually came out of my race car trailer. Uh, this box came with the trailer and uh, we just took the top off of it and it worked perfect on this deal. We bolted it down, painted this thing up, and uh, we're looking good. So it's now time to put some stickers on this dude and uh, rock and roll make here. A killer, make a killer little portable, portable box for that dude over there. That's right, so when we go to the track and stuff, we keep all of our tools in here, and when we're ready to rock and roll, we just lock it down. All the locks still work on it, so we don't have to worry about any of the drawers coming open while we're going down the road. That reminds me though, man, you need to get you a hook. On yeah, the front. yeah, that to hook it down. Winch just, it up in a truck. That's right. We'll just winch it up. This thing's heavy. It's about 10,000 pounds worth of metal right there. <laughs> that's right. So that way we're constantly using the same box everywhere we go. And I'm we a big boy, but I ain't that big. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, Jesse, we got to work you to death. Yeah, we got to yeah. work you to death. But um, I think this video turned out really cool, and uh, we're going to put some stickers on this bad boy and rock and roll. All righty, guys. Man, this is going to wrap up this Tech Tuesday video. I'm extremely happy with the way this box turned out. We got our stickers on there. We got our tools in it. Let's move this chair back here for a second. Boom. Yeah, this thing's looking good. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I felt like um, I just want to give some information to kind of help build a, an affordable, inexpensive uh, pit box or, you know, just a huge roll around toolbox that helps save money so you can spend it on other things. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, till next time, y'all have a good one. Don't forget, check out guildmotorsports.com. Okay guys, one last thing I wanted to add on here before we checked out here was, uh, you know, if you don't already have a, a box to work off of, uh, be sure and check out Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, Yard Sales, flea markets you can find a lot of these old boxes that may have a little rust on a little beat beat up even filing cabinets things like that that you can build off of and make your own personalized box and not have to drop four five hundred six hundred dollars in or if you even get exotic into these thousands and thousand dollar boxes but uh, i just want to give you that tip there of things i've learned so you don't have to invest a ton of money just in your toolbox Thank you guys so much for watching our video. Be sure to check out our new website, kilbymotorsports.com, for all your high performance needs. If you like this video, be sure to smash that subscribe button. It helps us out a ton. Till next time, you guys have a good one.